Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. In this video, we're going to configure Intel Integrated Graphics, also known as Intel Graphics Technology. The aim for this video is to get FreeBSD working with Intel HD Graphics. If you are playing around with FreeBSD on maybe an older machine, like in my case a Dell Optiplex, you will most likely have a form of integrated Intel graphics in your CPU. In a day and age of dedicated NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, it's easy to forget that for just running an operating system, simple Intel graphics are perfectly fine. In the past, you might have seen this being referred to as Intel HD graphics, and since 2017, as Intel UHD graphics. This simply means that there is no dedicated video card in your machine, but you are using the onboard VGA, DisplayPort or HDMI connection on the motherboard. The graphics are integrated in the CPU and the HD graphics driver is generally referred to as I915. That explains the name of the FreeBSD kernel module for Intel, I915 KMS. Also, you might run into the problem that once everything is configured and your display panel is more modern, for example a 4K panel, the text of your terminal becomes too small to read. We will also fix that issue near the end of the video. This is a freshly installed version of FreeBSD 14.1. And I'm currently logged on as the root user. I'm running FreeBSD in text only mode, so there is no desktop manager installed. But once this is done, you can configure your graphics card in the desktop manager. Just a couple of commands to demonstrate how you can figure out the Intel graphics being used. All of these commands are optional, so just skip ahead if you want to skip this part. PCI conf des lv pipe grep des b4 vga. This queries the PCI devices and shows some information. For example, this is a fourth generation Intel. Maybe we can get some more information from the system kernel messages. TMESG pipe grep des i double quote DRM backslash pipe VGA double quote. DRM or the Direct Rendering Manager that manages graphics cards initialized i915, so the Intel graphics. And the ID reads i915 as well. Even more hardware information can be shown with DMI Decode, a command line utility to retrieve hardware information. Install it with pkg install DMI Decode. Once it's installed, you can get all the information available regarding the CPU. Type DMI Decode dash T processor. And this confirms that my old test machine uses an Intel Core i3-4130 running at 3.4 GHz. This won't show too much about the graphics, but now that you have your exact version, you could quite easily research that. An example is on screen now. The onboard graphics are Intel HD Graphics 4400, hence the 4130, and the max resolutions and refresh rates are conveniently listed. As stated before, all of this checking is optional and it might be more information than you actually need. So now let's progress with the actual installation. PKG install DRM dash KMOD. The output lists that i915 KMS can be used for Intel graphics later than HD 3000. We just checked and the onboard graphics are Intel HD graphics 4400, so we are good to go. An indicator to our next step is actually listed on the screen. Sysrc kld underscore list plus equals i915 KMS. This will add the i915 kernel module. And then it mentions, please ensure that all users requiring graphics are members of the video group. Because I already know that I have a regular user account that needs a desktop manager, in this case KDE Plasma 6. At the later stage, I will add that user to the video group as suggested. PW group mod video dash M and then the name of your user account. And double check its group membership groups the name of your user account. 
Now it's time to reboot the machine. This could be all that's needed and your desktop manager, if you use one, will now pick up the i915 KMS and you can take it from there. What you might however experience is that if your display panel is more modern, for example a 4K panel, the text of your terminal becomes too small as there is some form of auto detection going on during the startup process and you are now left with a really small text. In a desktop manager we could scale this back, but here in the terminal we will have to configure it manually. Alternatively, you could just connect an older display, for example a full HD display, at this point a reboot and then you can take your glasses off again. I will zoom in here so we can all read it, but in reality it will still be very small at this point. We need to make a change to the file bootloader.conf. I'm using VI, but you can use your favorite editor. VI bootloader.conf. And add the line current.vt.fb.default underscore mode equals and then between double quotes the resolution that you want or know that is supported by your graphics card. When in doubt, refer to the website shown earlier. Save and exit the file, colon wq. And reboot the machine for the changes to take effect. It's now looking somewhat better, but still too small to my liking. Let's go back into the bootloader.com file, change it to SVGA, that is 800 by 600 and reboot again. Now everything is clearly readable again. I couldn't show this before because the text was too small, but after the initial installation and the first reboot, the output of KLD stat confirms that both the DRM and i915 kernel modules are indeed loaded. That's it. Hope it helped, and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye!